Rodolfo, what is the link between physical activity and the immune response? Yeah, basically the, the physical activity it's uh, strictly uh, controlling the immune response. Not only the physical activity, but also the sedentarism. Also, it's involved with the immune response. It's really clear that the sedentary people uh, have uh, rapidly immunosuppression, according, especially according to the aging, according to, to during the aging process. And when the people do, really do uh, physical activity daily or at least three times per, per, per week, uh, they can really boost and maintain his uh, immune system. Um, you just presented also a lecture on the subject. Um, what were like the most interesting news that you had presented? Yeah, one of the, the, the very interesting uh, uh, data that we showed was that um, in elderly individuals that are performing uh, exercise regularly at low or moderate intensity, uh, they have a, a real uh, improvement in the immune system and even when they get ill, for example, with a pneumonia from uh, um, pseudomonas or any other kind of bacteria, they are more resistant. They are more resistant uh, and also the impact, acute and chronic impact of this pneumonia, it's, it's much uh, uh, um, softer compared with the uh, elderly that don't practice physical activity regularly. In general, are allergies like asthma on the rise? Is there an increasing problem? Yeah, this is another interesting thing that we, uh, uh, we saw during, during, during the session. Uh, basically, uh, we were showing that physical activity when performed regularly at low or moderate intensity, this is something really important, should not, should not be high intensity or, or very long duration exercise above one hour, for example. Uh, was really interesting because uh, exercise or the physical activity performed in such a way can reduce uh, the eosinophilic and allergic inflammation but beyond that physical exercise also can uh, inhibit or uh, even um, treat more or less the, the airway remodeling that is something one of the challenges that there still uh, um, uh, remains uh, in the treatment of asthma. We are showing that exercise can more or less reverse the airway remodeling, reducing the collagen fibers accumulation, many things that really contribute to the severity of asthma. And we've heard here this year, uh, Yaki, also a few lectures on the danger of diesel motor engines or also the effects of, of global warming, pollen, etc. What about people that live in the center of really big cities, is that, how can they exercise? Yeah, I can tell you that uh, uh, our group in the city of Sao Paulo, it's also very known by one very polluted city. Uh, we have performed a study and published three or four years ago, I don't remember exactly, because trying to address exactly what you're asking. What happened if the people go outdoor to practice exercise every day in one polluted in, uh, um, environment, what will happen? In the first, uh, um, in the beginning, uh, we are thinking that the lungs would be like open, more open because of the exercise, the increase of the oxygen consumption, the ventilation, and so on. And then, but at the end, we found that at least for the lungs, the exercise performed even in the polluted area was healthier or was had a protective effect against the deleterious effects of uh, air pollution. Exercise uh, uh, present a very strong protective effect, anti-inflammatory effects for the lungs, helping the lungs to clean from the, part, the particles, the, the, the particulate matters, for example, that was inhaled uh, during the exercise. Well, then does that same theory also apply to smokers or asthmatic smokers? Yes. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, this also happened with smokers. We, we published a preclinical study in 2012 addressing this question. We, we put some, um, uh, some mouse or some mice to, to, to run and two hours after run we put them to smoke. They were smoking seven cigarettes per day and after six months uh, these animals that was smoking and also doing exercise five times per week at low intensity, one hour aerobic exercise, they did not present chronic bronchitis, they did not present lung emphysema, showing that exercise can prevent uh, the deleterious effects of also from, from smoke. We are not doing any uh, um, 
uh, apologies for concerning the, the, the smoke and things like this, but uh, we are just showing, that, okay, you are not going to stop smoking or you are in the process of stop smoking, at least do exercise regularly because this will protect at least your lungs. This is what we know. <laughs> exactly. So in conclusion, I mean, any type of exercise is good for the lungs and yeah, will that, uh, protect you at least a little bit. From yes, we can say that any type of exercise, uh, doesn't matter if this is aerobic exercise, cycling, walking or jogging, or even with the resistance training, with the weight lifting or something like this. But one thing that is really important to, to say to, 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 to the general population, be careful uh, with the swimming. Because uh, normally the people that are ill, for example, asthmatic patients or COPD patients, normally they are uh, sedentary for a long, long, long time. And then uh, normally they have a psychological stress when they are inside the water, they are afraid of, of um, of this and one important thing also is how the water of this uh, swimming pool is treated because almost are treated with chlor chlorine and then if they are treated with the chlorine this can be an uh, inhibitant for the uh, airway mucosa and then can precipitate a, a, a respiratory crisis and then this is really really important to take care uh, about this because we have many uh, um, triggers points when you are put some sedentary people to, trying to uh, teach them to, to swim for example to treat uh, their lung disease and then this is something that we need to, to really take care okay so the, the final message is just be aware of any kind of chemicals while yes. you're performing yes this, this, exercise. Is, this, this is important but one thing also it's like exercise uh, I want to reinforce this message. Exercise is uh, helping to control or reducing the uh, lung inflammation in general, not only in the areas, but also in the lung parenchyma against infections, mm -hmm. things like this. But also exercise is reducing the fibrosis in the lungs. This is something really uh, important because this really will not really cure the disease, far away from this, but uh, this is really uh, will decrease the disease progression. Doesn't matter if this is in asthmatic, in COPD, or, or even in lung fibrosis or other uh, pulmonary disease. Rodolfo, thank you very much for uh, this nice talking. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.